Hi, my name is Katie Helcrow and I'm from Inver Hills Community College in Inver Grove Heights. When we're talking about um, student body and especially students who might be first generation students, 57% of our student body is first generation student, minority, or low income. So we have a huge part of our population that is first generation student. And so giving students an experience um, through service learning where they can see the impact that their education is having on somebody else in a positive way um, is hugely rewarding for them and increases their likelihood they're going to stay in a class. Um, one of the classes that I've worked with amongst many others, um, but one of the remedial classes or not yet college level classes that I worked with um, was Read 90. So it's a reading course that students have to take before they can be qualified. There's actually, it's the lower level of two courses they have to take before they can be qualified to take um, English 1108, which is our basic English class. Um, so what, this, what the students did was they worked with Dakota County Historical Society and they interviewed women veterans about their roles. And so as precursor, to this, they investigated, they did research into the different wars, um, learned context about the wars for the, for the women whom they would be interviewing later. They came up with questions together as small groups, vetted them through the class, like working all together with that. Um, so it was basic skills that they would need um, for interviewing, but also it built on what they were supposed to learn in the class, which was writing and research skills. So like the really basic level writing, reading, research skills. Um, so this allowed them to see that even though they don't have the advanced skills of somebody who's starting in 1108, they still have the capacity to take what they're learning in the class, apply it in a real world setting and make a difference. So they knew that these interviews they were doing with women, um, the the interviews with these veterans were then going to be taken by the Dakota County Historical Society and used in an exhibit that they're going to do the, the following year. So that is hugely intrinsically rewarding for them um, because they can see, wow, you know, I, I actually have an impact. This whole college experience is something that I could stick with because I'm just going to learn more and more and I'm going to be able to contribute more and more. Um, because a lot of times students in these lower level classes won't get out of the lower level classes. They'll get frustrated um, that it's taking so long to get through them before they can start the material that's actually college level. So giving them a way to see their education in action, how their education is benefiting the community and how it can benefit themselves um, just makes them feel like so much more of a stakeholder in their own education um, and will and, and leads to them um, feeling more part of the campus community because they're part of this classroom experience um, and then also makes them feel like wow you know like this college thing is something that I could be good at and something that I want to do um, so this class that I was describing with the women veterans I had IR um, institutional research pull data about this class versus other classes that weren't using service learning because this was the only read 90 class that was using service learning and all of the students as compared with its peer group this, these students passed with a higher rate and had a, um, a higher rate of persistence semester to semester than any of the other groups so I mean it really does show that there's impact.